Imagine waking up to a steady stream of income flowing into your wallet every single day. No boss. No deadlines. Just your computer working for you, generating real money while you sleep. Sounds too good to be true. Well, welcome to the world of cryptocurrency mining. But here's the shocking part, most people who try mining end up losing money. They buy the wrong equipment, waste electricity, and get crushed by hidden fees. In this video, we are breaking down exactly how to mine cryptocurrency profitably, step by step. By the end, you'll know the best mining methods, what coins to mine, how much you can make, and whether mining is still worth it in 2025. But first, a question for you, have you ever tried mining before? Drop a comment below and let's see how many crypto miners are watching this. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss future money-making content. Now, let's get started. What is crypto mining? Most people think cryptocurrency is just bought and sold on exchanges, but behind the scenes, there's a powerful network of miners that keeps everything running. Mining is the process of validating transactions and securing the blockchain. In simple terms, imagine a massive digital vault. Every time someone sends Bitcoin or Ethereum, miners act as security guards verifying transactions. In return, they get paid in cryptocurrency. But the process isn't easy, it requires powerful computers solving complex puzzles. Now, let's dive into the different ways you can mine crypto and how to maximize your profits. Types of Crypto Mining There are multiple ways to mine cryptocurrency, but the three most common methods are Proof of Work, POW, Mining The traditional method where miners compete to solve mathematical problems. The first to solve it gets rewarded. Bitcoin and Litecoin use this method. Proof of Stake (POS) Staking Instead of using high-power computers, POS allows users to stake their crypto in return for rewards. Ethereum has now switched to this method, making traditional mining obsolete for ETH. Cloud Mining Instead of buying expensive hardware, you can rent mining power from large companies that operate mining farms. While this sounds easier, many cloud mining platforms are scams, so be careful. Which one is the best? If you're serious about mining, POW mining with ASIC machines or GPUs is the best way to go. Let's talk about the hardware you'll need. Best Mining Equipment for Beginners Not all mining equipment is profitable. If you choose the wrong machine, you'll waste electricity and lose money fast. Here are the best options. ASIC miners, these are specialized machines designed only for mining. The top models include the Bitmain Antminer S19 Pro and the Watts Miner M30S++, both highly profitable for Bitcoin. GPU Mining Rigs If you want flexibility, high-end graphics cards like NVIDIA RTX 3090 or AMD RX 6800 XT are great for mining altcoins like Ethereum Classic and Ravencoin. CPU Mining Less powerful but useful for mining smaller coins like Monero. However, it's not very profitable for most users. Choosing the right equipment is just the beginning. The real key to mining success is electricity cost and mining pools. How to choose the right mining pool? Mining alone is almost impossible now. If you mine solo, you may never get paid. That's why most miners join mining pools, groups of miners that combine their power and share the rewards. Here are the best mining pools in 2025. F2 Pool, great for Bitcoin, Ethereum Classic, and Litecoin. Slush Pool, one of the oldest and most trusted Bitcoin mining pools. Ethermine, the best choice for Ethereum Classic miners. Joining a mining pool ensures consistent earnings, but how much can you actually make? Let's break down the numbers. How much money can you make from mining? Mining profits depend on several factors. Electricity costs, the lower, the better. Miners in places like China and Texas make more money due to cheap power. Mining difficulty, if too many people mine the same coin, rewards decrease. Coin value, if Bitcoin's price doubles, your earnings also double. For example, with a Bitmain Antminer S19 Pro, you can earn around $15 to $30 per day mining Bitcoin, depending on electricity costs. With a GPU mining rig, you might make $3 to $10 per day mining altcoins. But here's the game changer, is mining still worth it? Or are there better ways to make money in crypto? Is crypto mining still worth it in 2025? 
With energy prices rising and mining difficulty increasing, traditional mining is becoming harder for small players. Large mining farms with cheap electricity are dominating the industry. So what are your options? Start small with GPU mining, if you already have a powerful gaming PC, you can mine altcoins like Caspa or Ergo as a side hustle. Invest in crypto instead, instead of mining, some traders prefer to buy and hold crypto for long-term gains. Try staking or yield farming, with Ethereum's proof of stake, you can now earn passive income by staking ETH instead of mining it. Mining isn't dead, but it's no longer a get-rich-quick scheme. You need to be smart, choose the right coins, and stay ahead of the trends. So, should you start mining cryptocurrency? If you have access to cheap electricity and the right equipment, mining can still be profitable. But for most people, investing in crypto or staking might be a better option. What do you think? Is mining worth it, or is it a thing of the past? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, smash the like button and subscribe for more crypto insights. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.